since we were originally a bank, we have these vaults that used to be, you know, storage for cash. So our building opened in 1915, and it was a bank for the first 60, 70 years, and then it wasn't anything. And then in 2011, we moved into this location. So this is the vault on the mezzanine, and it's home to the horror books, true crime, uh, co-workers who are shelving books. Um, but yeah, you can see all around us, we built in all of these shelves, we lined this room to be able to make it a really functional space, but also a very visually interesting one. They kind of both go hand in hand. They're mediums that people, you know, most stores kind of disappeared at one point in the 2000s, bookstores and record stores, until there were very few. Um, and they kind of go hand in hand. Um, people come over and shop the books and they're like, oh, you have records too, that's so great. And for a lot of kids, they didn't come up knowing anything about uh, physical media. You know, they didn't even buy compact discs, they're so young, they just downloaded. And so when they see records, it's, uh, it makes a big difference because it's, you can hold it in your hand, you can see it. This is the other most famous feature in the store. We call it the book loop. I have a feeling lots of other people have different names for it. And again, it was a feature that was created just to give this space um, a sense of magic and a sense that you'd fallen into a world created by and populated with books. So this is the book tunnel. Um, it is probably the most famous part of our store. Uh, it came from an idea that the store owner had. He really wanted this area to feel like you had fallen into a world of books and kind of gotten lost in it. Behind me are the oldest books that we have in the store. Um, we have Miscellanies by Captain Morris that was published in 1791. Um, and we have a collection of Goethe, um, Wilhelm Meister's Apprenticeship that's from 1795. And they are among the most expensive books in our collection. Um, and they are by far the oldest. If, if people have French or German or Italian books in really nice condition that they would like to donate to us to boost those departments for us, I would gladly accept those donations. Uh, you can mail them to us at the last bookstore in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm.